So if you know anything about uh, LED lighting, you must have heard of light panels. Uh, we're at their stand here at IBC uh, this year, 2011. Uh, with me is Stuart. He's got three new products to show us. And uh, we're going to go through each of them. They're all behind us. And uh, he's going to give us a little bit of a, a demo and uh, explanation of all about them. So Stuart, what do we have? Sure. Well, uh, for this year at the show, we're uh, showing a couple of new products. These are uh, really debuts, I guess, of these products at IBC. And the first one is an on-camera fixture. We're calling this the Chroma. Uh, this is basically an on-camera version of the one by one bicolor that we do. So it's a very similar sort of um, look and feel to the, the other on-camera fixtures that we make, except for the fact that you have the ability to just adjust the color temperature. So I don't know if you can pick up on that when I change it, but you can just adjust it on the fly as you're shooting, which is quite a powerful tool if you're ever shooting somewhere where there's a lot of ambient light. It's a very, very useful way of being able to work. Uh, the next product up is the Sola 4. So um, earlier on this year, we launched the Sola 6, which is a six inch LED Fresnel uh, lens. This is a four inch version. Uh, it's kind of about the equivalent roughly of about a 250 watt fixture. Um, the sort of thing that you would probably use maybe in smaller broadcast environments, but again, a really nice, um, really nice fixture. All the single shadow properties that you would expect from a Fresnel, but all the advantages that you get from LED. So again, no heat, no flicker, none of that. So really nice product and that should be coming along in November of this year. Uh, and lastly, but certainly not leastly, is the, uh, the we're calling this the Helio. So this is really a kind of higher output fixture. So there's about 72 uh, one watt LEDs in this product. Really best suited for slightly larger studio environments or those occasions when you need to throw light over a slightly longer distance. So really you're looking at about 25 feet, I think, in terms of maximum distance for this. But really just a, a really nice, really nice fixture for being able to do quite a long throw of, of light, quite a nice spread in those larger environments where maybe the, you know, the, the smaller panels wouldn't quite cut it. So we've got uh, three products here. Are they all available now? You mentioned this one, yeah, November. No, I think generally we're looking at November time for all three. We want to be able to have them all out before the end of the year. So that's the kind of time scale that we're working on. If we can do it before then, we will. But I think end of the year, I think it's the safe bet. That's great, Stuart. And if people want to find out more information about these products and more, I'm assuming you've got a website. Of course, yeah. You know, everything's on, uh, on the website, which is uh, all the w's.lightpanels.com. Stuart, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, it's going to be hard to drag me off this stand because I just love light panels. And uh, I'll uh, be eventually, when I get off this stand, going around some of the others, seeing what else they've got. And uh, you can keep track of all that at broadcastshow.com.